If you would opt to do that, it would give another layer of health security to the event that you're planning. And we could see this deployed not just for conventions and conferences, but think about concerts. We could see this coming into play or these sports arenas. How do you pack people back into the new Allegiant Stadium? It was supposed to open in September. It's still closed. You may do it with this sort of health passport that helps people get back in and know that they're not infectious. Jim Murren, he's been at the ground floor trying to break open new ways to kind of give a digital vaccine for these uh, group businesses. This is dirty. Hydra created a world so chaotic that humanity is finally ready to sacrifice its freedom to gain its security. Once the purification process is complete, Hydra's new world order will arise. So in the end. But Che confermano che il virus
Good morning, Miss Garcia. Good morning, sunshine. I miss you. I could kiss you right now. Yeah, well. Sunday. Curfew is now in effect. All unauthorized citizens must stay indoors. Tensions rise as we enter the 213th week of lockdown. A grim new reality emerges. COVID-23 has mutated. Beginning thermal scan. Thermal scan normal. A horrifying new development new today. New data confirms the virus attacks the brain tissue. Whoa, 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 I'm immune! I'm immune! Worldwide death toll rises to over 110 million. All infected Americans are being forced into quarantine camps. Sarah. Sarah, what's going on? Department of Sanitation. Sarah, talk to me. I think my neighbor has a fever. It'll be so much easier if you just open the door. Mrs. Grant, you have visitors. Sarah, please. Sarah, open that door. Sarah, Sarah do not open that door. No. person left in my life that matters to me I can't help you what you're talking about is illegal Segway casually to is the fact that in the recent Halloween episode known to fans as the Treehouse of Horrors, the writer's room was especially sour on the outlook of America in 2021. Oh, haven't we had enough of this year? Well, someone left some black licorice in their candy bowls because they painted a pretty bleak picture of where America will be in a year's time. Firstly, they start us in nice and casual-like with a general apocalypse since Homie forgot to vote. He slept through it, and by the time Inauguration Day, January 20th, 2021 appears on screen, well, let's just say those killer robots are a little worse to Hans Mole Man than your typical football in the groin. As Hans puts it in a way only his kind, wrinkled peanut can. Oh, that's what I get for voting for Kanye. The divinations don't end there. Fans have noted after the election that the map actually shown on screen in the episode pretty closely matches what the final electoral college map ended up being. Some of the states that flip from red to blue match up. This could be a sign that someone in Springfield is a close observer of substandard polling, but fans are not convinced. How the creators of the show know this information is anyone's guess. Maybe these oracles traded their souls for donuts, or perhaps guest star Lucy Lawless put it best when she said, a wizard did it. Sure, we could flatly assume that they're just a bunch of soothsayers who landed a cushy Hollywood job to settle their outstanding gambling debts, but that would just be too easy. 
The truth is, the show has always held up a mirror to society, which has influenced society in turn. Paul McCartney responded to a 50-year-old fan letter, as happened in an episode where Marge painted an homage to Ringo. As one of the original and longest-standing writers, Al Jean said in an article with the BBC, if you make enough predictions, then 10% will turn out to be right. Since much of the writing takes place long before it's animated, the creators are sometimes forced to project months ahead of the airing of an episode so they'll make assumptions to seem timely. Just this year, in a 2020 interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Simpsons writer Bill Oakley spoke candidly about how the show has been eerily accurate on their predictions. There are very few cases where The Simpsons predicted something. It's mainly just coincidence because the episodes are so old that history repeats itself. We're through the looking glass here, people. The reason The Simpsons have been in our homes and hearts for this long is because they've always known where we've been guides where we're going. For years, the residents of Springfield have been holding up a mirror to our modern society and sneaking in historical context to the point that they've made history themselves. What parts of their 2021 predictions do you see coming true, and do you have any predictions of your own? Share below in the comments, and make sure to like and subscribe for more from us. You will all be participating in the new Global Child Initiative program. We're just going to do a checkup and a gum treatment. Cal? Every kid in our class, we've all been implanted. They want to control us. Tim, wait! Hello? Anyone there? We're the ones that time forgot. Hello? Who are you guys? We're the unlisted, and so are you. We will locate every homeless, lost, vulnerable child because all children deserve academic and medical benefits. They're tracking kids. Where's your twin? Messing with their heads and making them super strong. We need your help. Don't trust anyone. We are the unlisted, and together we take back our world. Shout out to you for listening. Thank you for listening. I will appreciate you. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for clicking the button. Thank you for subscribing with the bell. Much love. Hope you enjoy.